Alright, let's go on the base. Do 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 oh crap. <laughs> I left my mouse at the end of the edge of the screen. Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is halt. your business? Who goes like there? That? Calm down. Whose footprints there. are these? Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. Yeah, You're God, too trusting, I mean, Gavin. I'm not a terrorist. Frederick and his Vulcans <gasps> want you dead. Anyone we don't know too is soon? a potential threat. Too soon and after it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you Maybe. want us to start attacking strangers on site, Zerdra? Like the Vulcans do? Yeah, I will God. never let it come to We're that. We're only a gang. Step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulcan spy. Well, then it wouldn't... I wouldn't say Vulcan spy. I would say something I could say before you vaporize me. Like, bitch. Oh. You'll have We're to wearing the same that. armor. Ever since Bredrick and the Vulcans began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. And the problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, Yeah, even though I'm blind. You? The escape pods? The escape pods. You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the upper city about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working nah, for the Sith. Nah, I don't think he's blind. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. Don't I worry, I'm not I with the Sith. I tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas. Yeah. And that's okay in my book. Definitely. The Vulcas stripped those pots clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female what is that? Republic officer oh. named Bastila survived boobs. the crash. They found boobs we McGee. We don't believe in intergalactic slavery. But the Vulcas aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. I have to get in there and rescue oh, her! The Vulcas would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik. For an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could yes. work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcan base on her own. She's well, too valuable yeah. to leave with the Vulcan scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. Big swoop race, never you say? Find her. There has to be some way I can help her. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual Swoop Gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. Oh, So no. how do you propose we go about rescuing Basila, then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only That's hope you have sure. of rescuing Bastila is to for somehow that. win the big season opener of the swoop race. Gadden, can you help me with this? I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here. And much to lose. What are you proposing? The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you sponsor as a rider for me? the hidden next this year. Really? If you win the race. It's just what I always wanted. Freedom, but first, you have to do something to complete. explode on a My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a track. swoop engine. Huh? A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. Mm -hmm. But the Vulcans stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. How am I supposed to get inside the Vulcan base? The Vulcan base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission <laughs> Mission? Gaddon, you can't yeah. be serious. The He's back way. How is she supposed to help mm -hmm. them with this? Missions explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. Yep. She Where can and I find Mission? Friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the Undercity, despite the dangers. Yeah. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. Despite be, uh, it might be being turned into a past zombie. Sith guard post at the elevator. I've got some Sith uniforms to disguise myself. A simple disguise yeah. might have worked on the Upper City card, but the security down here is much tougher. 
You'll need the proper papers to get past Well, them. shit. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell Oh, well, into isn't my that hands. convenient? Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniform. My uniform? With the security papers, you won't but need a disguise anymore. I'm never anyway. going to wear them again. Why would I give them to you? Okay, I'll trade the Good uniform choice. papers. Good choice. Thanks I, for I the uniforms. Need them. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now. No. I suggest you... Please, remove yourself from my sight. Now, we are going to go to the lower city apartments, and then we're going to go down to the undercity. But first, we're going to explode some fools. Explode! Time to rumble! I missed! But Karth did not. Because Karth is an ace shot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Obviously, something's going on right here. I mean, you guys are quite obvious. You're famous. What do you, uh, you think just because you're gonna meet some another game, character that's important in the game? Yeah, we do all the work. I mean, he's the he's the boss. Why isn't he doing any other work? Oh, I love the idiocy of some people. Gonna say no to the crime lord. I could have easily wiped you off the face of the planet. Oh, no, they can't do it to me so because I'm me. I'm awesome. Way. Okay. Ah. Donepodo. Rana no prata do. Candorous Ordo. Mandalorian. What on a woman mulera? Can't you do by shark? No more bully mulera. And the amazing words of Kalo Nord. Smart. Bona una dichek. Palamure slimo wanga kun bisching. I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Yeah, come on. next time, Candorous. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Mm-hmm. If he's looking forward to cracking some heads, I mean, why bring a repeating blaster? Those Vulcars are dumber than a chorus and granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. <laughs> Gadon keeps his hidden Bex in line, but Brezik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. Mm-hmm. I'll be gone. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. Oh, cool. To the lower city apartments! That's full of black Vulkers and nastiness. Ah, Kalo again. Chiwi Aita ka Chonchicha. Oh, Rodians, you are not smart. Just shush your mouth. See, that one's smart. Ketchup and mustard here. There's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. He really just said that. That's what a bounty is, man. That's the plan. Less sigh. Idiocy at its finest. No, 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 no. Walk towards the frickin' mine. Stupid. There's a mine over there. I'm just gonna walk towards it. I don't have any useful good heads. <laughs> Woot! Level up. Oh, Karth. You did not just aggro those guys. Of 
McCarthy are going on my shit list right now. Yeah, I like that. <sighs> Can't deal with these people. Alright, recommended on these. Skills. All of them are going to go into Persuade, which since it's a cross-class skill right now, is all two. Implant level two and uncanny dodge one. Awesome. Now, what? your punishment, Karth, is going to be walking into this mine. Oh, uh, balls. Sure. Down you go! Well, that works. Gotta love grenades. Okay, now, uh -huh. for your punishment. What? Yes, what's in No, I don't want to talk to you. I want to open this footlocker. Ooh, more grenades. Now let's open the supplies. Ooh, more med packs. Yay, stuff! Let's open the door and find more assholes within. Get out of my way, Dick. Gas mine, and I hate gas mines. Uh, you can read this if you guys want. I can't. F I, I can't figure out how to open this strong box. I can't remember. No problem. Didn't work. I think I need a mine or something. Explode! Oh. 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 Poke me with a stick? God! 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 Selvin. Stop right there. We'll go explore somewhere else. There's no I gave you a chance. Yep, now yep. you Time to kill you. Get a little sword on sword action. I've got cover. And my endless supply. Well, not endless. Supply of med packs. Gimme, gimme. Ooh, a neural band. This gives me plus two to will. Alright. Probably the apartment that's got the little mini game chest in it. Oh, nope, just a black one. Is that not down here? Is that somewhere else? I know that's down here somewhere. No, I guess I'm wrong. I guess I'm stupid. I could have sworn that was down here somewhere. of speed right now. There's a sealed strong box. Ugh. 
Okay. Yes, what's on your mind? I guess I did say you could ask me questions later, didn't I? Is this really necessary? Not if you have a problem no, with no, it. No, I don't have a problem with it, really. Go ahead and interrogate me. This is an interrogation. I never said that. No. Excellent. Soon all your secrets will all be mine. All my secrets are purely of the mundane variety, unfortunately. Nothing worth extracting, though. You're welcome to try. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle of Bordeaux. Oh, Dinder's boy. Fire, over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened, from your perspective. Well, uh, this worthless guy woke me up. We ran around and killed some guys. We saw two Sith peoples. Uh, the idiot NPC ran in to try and kill one of the Sith peoples, and then we found you. Well, I found you. True. Basta is as powerful as I say. She's the one who defeated Darth Revan, after all. Mm -hmm. I guess that no Jedi ability, no matter how powerful, makes up for being completely surprised and outmatched. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, mm -hmm. it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? I'm a scout. I was recruited into the fleet for my skills, if you must know. Well, that makes sense. Still, it seems a bit strange that someone who is a last-minute addition to the crew roster is one of the survivors. What's so odd about me being added to the crew at the last minute? You were the only one. Not to mention that Bastila's party was the one who requested your transfer. Why would Bastila request my transfer? The Jedi requested things when they came on board. But hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value ever, and I hate surprises. Uh, yeah, what do you mean by surprises? I mean, I have to expect the unexpected, just to be safe. Are you always this suspicious? Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone, and I have my reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? Yes, let's do that. Good. Like I said before, I prefer... Yeah, yeah, shut up. You bitch too much. Everyone in this game bitches too much. I think this is the Black Volker base. Oh, wait, no, I see so I see the sea down there. Present them to can. you. I have my papers right here. Now you can take them and promptly shove them up your ass. See. Uh, yeah, these look to be in order. Okay, you can go down if you want. Can't say I envy you though. The Undercity is crawling with mutants, rack ghouls they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. Well, that's what I do anyway. You just don't know how I roll, dude. Upworlder! 
Anyone Up you world -er. elevator has to pay the toll. I'm the yeah, hammiest of elevator. all people in this you game. Use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five credits. That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits. Five credits, huh? Who are you? What are you doing here in the Undercity? We are the outcasts. Banished and reviled by those who dwell above. Here in the filth and darkness, we claw out a wretched existence. Scabbing. That sounds like an Edgar Allan Poe. Just to survive long enough Owen. to see another wretched day. This is our village. We live here. Yeah, yeah. You poor wretches. Here's 20 credits to buy some food and clothing. <laughs> credits, my brother. We have credits. I do that because I now do feel bad for these people. food and medicine. Hush, or the others will hear us. They'll want our credits. We have to hide them. Go on, you two. Get out of here. I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure you... Yeah, yeah. My, My name is Jake Fogarty. Sorry, this is a beautiful place. Rukil, who's that? Promise Land, what's that? We're gonna find Rukil. I'll be going now. Okay. Anyways, that is going to end it for this set. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope the audio is a lot better now that I have this uh, new headset with microphone attachment. And we will uh, pick things back up uh, Wednesday or Thursday. Maybe. Um, somewhere around there. So, yeah. See you guys then.